Hello again, it's only me doing another week of art video. Last week I didn't make a video and then the week before that I made that video all about foundation. So I feel like it's been quite a while since we've had a little catch up. So to start this video I thought I'd do what I always do, which is just fill you in with what I've been up to. In my last week of our uni video, you might remember me working on a project all about Daniel Lismore who is a, um, a designer who makes these really cool outfits and I was doing a project all about him. Well since then I have completed the project, I finished my final piece last week, here it is, well some of it, well you'll see the finished piece in a second but um, yeah I did this big collage, I did an acrylic background, worked into it with collage and coloured pencil, just mishmashing a bunch of shapes together all sort of inspired by his outfit and then I took this into Photoshop where I tweaked it a little bit and drew on top of it to make this ba -ba -da -da. this was my final piece of that project super happy with the outcome of that especially because I, I kind of struggled with the piece in the beginning um, well, I say in the beginning the whole way through I struggled with that final piece sometimes a piece of art will just happen really easily and then other pieces, you just it's a pain and it takes a while to get it to a place that you like and that was one of them so to have it come out um, uh, to a place where I really liked it. Yay, happy days. So I finished that and I also did quite a bit of work on my Google Slides. The Google Slides are sort of your online sketchbook, it's how the teachers see your work, it's where you document everything that you've been up to, so did a lot of things for that, a lot of experiments and practices before I came to my final piece. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm showing you now. Just my Google Slides. Oh, we also started another project at uni, but so far all we've done for that is writing, so I won't show you that, it's not very exciting at the moment. So that's everything I've been up to for uni, and then I've also been working on let me get them all in. Let me zoom in a bit. <laughs> I've also been working on these magnets, just in my free time. Oh yeah, that's the back of them. I've just made them out of clay and painted on them with acrylic and obviously varnished them so they're all they're very shiny. <laughs> I just love magnets. I have so many magnets in my room. Like I've got these little bird ones and I've got uh, these little crocheted strawberries. I've got this little baby magnet and it's got and it, it, it holds on with its hands. <laughs> I just love magnets and I've been wanting to make my own for quite a while. Last week I put my foot down and I thought, Emily, you're finally going to make those magnets. I think they're lovely. I made this one for Valentine's Day for my boyfriend, which is really cute. It's a bit rough around the edges and I kind of struggled to paint it, um, but I think it's cute. And the whole reason I wanted to make magnets, well first off, for myself, because I love magnets. Um, so all these, these are mine, I'm keeping these ones. But I really want to make magnets for my Etsy shop, because I put a little poll on my Instagram if you guys would be interested, and a uh, majority of people said yes, magnets seem fun. That's what I'm going to dedicate my week to, making more magnets and just working on uni stuff. That's um, everything I've been up to for the past couple weeks. Okay, right, I'm gonna get making magnets. Okay, so here I am getting on making some magnets. Uh, the clay I use is it's air dry clay so i have to wait um two one or two days for for all these to dry and well at first i thought there was something just a bit wrong with my clay because as i like cut into it there was loads of these tiny little hairs and i was thinking ooh, gross why is there loads of hairs in my clay and then i actually read the packet and it had like nylon fibers in it to help keep it strong and I was like oh now that makes sense so there's um little hairs all weaving in between just to keep it strong you can't see them once they've been made you get like a few hairs poking out here and there but you just like flatten it down with water and they're basically invisible um so my technique I roll it into a ball squish it down and um roll it out I don't have an actual rolling pin so I've just been using these little tools that I have um I trace around the shape I'll just draw out the shape and then cut it out quite roughly just with the little sharp 
little knife thing and then I go round and smooth out all the edges so they're nice and clean. When I want to get a straight line I'm just using this um, old B&Q membership card that my mum gave me. I said, Mum, do, do you have a spare card I can use? And she came in with the B&Q one, so that's what I'm using. Uh, yeah, I just use this like little pokey stabby thing to go along the edges and clean it up. I'd say each shape takes me around 15 minutes to cut out, some maybe even longer, the stars are a bit fiddly and there's a lot of edges to try and clean up. The squares are pretty easy, They're, they can get done quite quick. I've had this clay for so long, I got it for Christmas years ago and never did anything with it and when I thought, oh you know what, I'd quite like to make some clay magnets, there it was and I thought, it's your time to shine, <laughs> I can finally use you and I've had these little tools for ages as well. I, don't, I just already had a lot of the things to do these and I just never actually did anything with it. Um, the only thing I had to buy new was the magnets. Everything else I already had, I already had the clay, the tools, the varnish that I used to make them shiny and obviously I already have paint and it was nice to finally use something that's just been kind of taking up space in my drawer for ages. Right, so these are all the shapes I've made. I'm not really sure how long I've been going for. It's currently um, 8.51 and I think I started at around three o'clock. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five hours minus an hour for tea. Four hours, probably four and a half hours I've been doing this for. So yeah, I managed to get quite a bit done in that time. I'm still quite new to making stuff with clay so I'm a bit slow at it but yeah, I'm really happy with all the shapes I've made. I'm using air dry clay, so they'll take around a day or maybe two days to dry. Um, these are ones which I made quite a few days ago, so I need to wait for these to get the same color as these, because um, these are like rock hard now. Yeah, that's me done for the day, and I'll speak to you in the morning. Hello, good morning, good morning. I'm stood up because my mum was cleaning out the back room yesterday and it had a lot of my old art in. I was going to put it under my wardrobe but it's a bit too big and I thought you know what I'll have a sift through and I'll see if I can throw anything away. And quite a lot of this stuff I'm not really that attached to. So it's got my GCSEs and my A level stuff in. What have we got in here? Oh my goodness. There's lots. <laughs> I did not realise there was so much. It's thing I made ages ago. I think in year 10 that can go. That can go. That can go. What's this? Ah, this is my year 10 Jesus E book. I can't throw this away. I'll keep that. Painting I did in second year of A level. That can go in the bin. I a pile actually. Check that out. I do not remember doing that at all. Ah, uh, this is this is staying. A lot of hard work went into this book. This was for my GCSEs. In year 11. That can stay. I think I'll keep this book because that's all we actually ever did in it this much. And look at all that paper. Can't throw that away. A zip and an orange. Uh, I'll keep them, why not? I remember putting a lot of time into them. This is a wall I did in charcoal. I remember hated, <laughs> I hated doing that. Oh that's nice, I can't throw that away. I thought I lost that. Oh I'm happy I've got that still. I remember because that went missing for ages and then the teacher finally found it at the end of the year it was like shoved at the back of some shelves. Another watercolour painting I did of my nan. Uh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> this can go in the bin. This was my second book of first year of A-levels. And this is... Oh, that can go in the bin. Second book of first year of graphics. Oh, that's a pretty page. I think I'll keep the majority of this stuff because I think this is my, all my paintings. One of my dad. Got all the yellow there. That's, that's gone a bit bad. Ooh, this was, I don't know what this was. I, I did it in A-levels at some point of some building architecture thing. Do, 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 do. I'll keep this one. I like this one. In A-levels, my paintings just kept getting bigger and bigger. It was all once in this one, um, but I managed to get it down 
into that one and then this is the go pile. Things have to go eventually and yeah, this is the stuff that's going. Cool, I managed to get rid of quite a bit of stuff there. What time is it? It is, oh yikes, I have got an online lesson in five minutes. So I'll go do that and I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I might draw something, we'll see. Uh, hello again, um, oh, hey look, you can see me a bit there. Had my online lesson, had my dinner, and I just thought I'd pop in to show you, give you a bit of a magnet update. <laughs> so it's been nearly 24 hours since I did these, and some of them I think are hard enough now to start painting, but I don't want to risk it, so I am going to wait another day. And um, some of them are still nowhere near, like the bigger ones take a lot longer to dry out, obviously, because they're bigger. Probably tomorrow I'll be able to paint them. Oh, <laughs> huh? Look at the state of that. It used to say obviously out with them, but I um, <laughs> I dropped all the letters down the side of my bed and I managed to find all the other letters, but I just cannot find the T anywhere and I don't have a replacement T. So I'm thinking I might try and turn an L into a T. I also chopped this up because obviously I did it on an A3 piece of paper because I thought I would do it really big, um, but that just didn't happen. Um, so I needed to trim it down so it would stick in my book nice and neat. I've also been doing a little bit of drawing, which I'll pop up on screen right now whilst I'm talking. I've got a piece of art, which I'd really like to make, um, of just these tigers. I wanna make more of like a finished piece, um, cause I feel like a lot of the drawings I've been doing recently, apart from that one that was my, like my final piece for the uni project, I feel like everything else I've been doing lately has been just kind of small, small little things. And I really wanna do more of a finished piece with like a, a really thought out composition with a little bit of atmosphere and lighting. I've been really wanting to do something like that. And I thought this would be a good thing to do. I thought I'd plan it out on Photoshop first, just so, um, I wasn't so lost when I was painting it, I had something to kind of go off. Um, at the moment I don't really know how I want to do it because I could do it like, um, if I'm the page, like these pieces here where I paint an acrylic background and go on top of it in coloured pencil or I could do it like that where I do more sort of painting with a little bit of pencil or I could do something completely new. I don't know at the moment, hopefully I'll figure it out as I go along. I'm probably going to hand you over to voice over me now whilst I make this. Hopefully it turns out nice. I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It didn't turn out amazing. This right now, what you're seeing is my second attempt, uh, my first attempt. Trust me, you don't even want to see it. It's, you know when you don't like the way something's turning out, so you rush it and then you don't like it even more, so you keep rushing it and it gets even worse and then it gets to the point where you're just basically scribbling on it because you just want it done and you end up hating it. That's what happened. I'm kind of glad that happened though because it forced me to go back to the drawing board and I did another thumbnail of all the colours and I kind of fixed the composition a little bit, which I'll show you on screen now. And this was just far better in my opinion. So I'm kind of glad I had that accident because it made me like try again and come up with a better idea. And that's what you're seeing me do now. My first attempt I did in acrylic paint. I mean, in hindsight, that probably wasn't the best media to use for a painting like this. This one, obviously I'm doing in watercolor. I decided to do it in watercolor because I just feel like I have more control with watercolor. I just find it easier to mix colors as well in watercolor because acrylics dries like so fast that you kind of have to rush when you're using them which is fine when I want to do like quick things um, which won't take too long but this painting kind of had to take long if I wanted to get all the detail in so that's why I went for watercolour and in the end I really like the way this piece turns out so yay happy days you gotta like you gotta make your accidents to improve and get better whoop whoop oh I actually used masking fluid for the first time ever which you see me do right now I bought some the other week and I thought I'd give it a go it's just the um, this thing that you can paint on your paper to make watercolour not go there <laughs> If that makes any sense and you can peel it up and it will leave the white paper underneath so I tried that out for the first time to, to get the, all the lighter shapes within the darker colours okay so I've been doing this for 
quite a long time now. I started at around 10 o'clock this morning and it's now three o'clock. I mean, obviously I did have a break for dinner and had an online lesson, but I kind of painted through it. But I think I'm gonna start for the day now. I have quite a few things I wanna get done. One of the main things being, I think my magnets are ready for painting. I also wanna go to the post office cause I packed some orders. Um, yeah, and I think I'll carry on with this tomorrow or maybe this evening if I feel up to it. Um, I'm really liking the way it's coming along at the moment. I think this needs a bit of tidying up. Um, obviously the tigers are nowhere near done, but I'm liking the colours, I'm liking the shapes, um, and hopefully um, I won't mess it up. So I think the next thing you'll see me doing is um, painting my magnets. I just need to give them all a white base coat first before I add all the colours, so I think I'll do that this evening at some point. This is what I've been using um, just to prop my phone up on to get the, the side angles. Tripod, who needs them? I've got myself a toilet roll and this rabbit thing. Uh, right, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. to Wednesday now going back and working on my tiger drawing painting thingamabob and I was determined to get it finished on Wednesday and I can confirm that I did get it finished I only had to do a few finishing touches on Wednesday I just went in and tweaked a few of the colors made some of the darker colors darker and just added a bit more saturation because sometimes with watercolor I find it's hard to get the saturation that I want so I have to go in with quite a few layers to get the colour as bright as I want it to be so that's what I did on Wednesday and then I'm going in with my coloured pencils to add all the stripes to the tigers and I actually didn't film this but I ended up going in with a little bit of pen as well onto the tigers it was like just this really thin brown felt tip pen which I just used to make some of the stripes darker because I'd put so many layers of watercolour on now that the pencil was kind of having a hard time getting like really dark on the paper so I had to bring in the felt tip pens, just adding a bit more saturation to the blue of the background, um, adding pink to the flowers and just, I don't know, things that are barely noticeable. <laughs> yeah, peeling the tape off, I love this bit, it's very satisfying. Oh, look at those clean edges. Oh, just because I know someone's probably going to ask, the watercolours I use are Windsor and Newton, the pencils I use are Faber-Castell Polychromos and the paper I was using um, was just the Cassart's own brand of watercolour paper which is one of the cheapest I could find and does a pretty good job. Here we have the finished illustration. I like it, it's nice. Obviously there's things I would change. I did these like lines around these shapes and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's just, does it just look a bit odd? Because they're like the only bits which are lined. Um, I don't know. One of the main reasons I was uh, painting this well, obviously just because it's nice to paint things and I would really like to do a shop update within the next month or so um, but that requires making art for new prints at its current state um, I don't think it's print ready but I reckon just a few tweaks on Photoshop um, to add a few little extra details and clean up a few bits um, and then it will be hopefully something which I could make into a print I'm thinking I might <laughs> move that. Um, I might replace it with that one just to switch things up a little bit so I'm going to see how that looks. It has been done. I really like that. Oh cute. Although I still really like this one so I might be a little bit cheeky and buy myself another frame because uh, I think it'd be nice to have both of these on display. Oh <laughs> and if you like the look of this I sell these as prints on my Etsy shop. Oh, you got one. Da -da -da. That's what the print looks like. Uh, the, my Etsy shop is linked in the description. <laughs> Hi 
Here I am just packing some orders. I didn't have too many orders this week, which is okay. Some weeks are just busier than others and it's kind of understandable because I didn't really mention my Etsy shop at all in my last video. Well, and I haven't mentioned it just for quite a while on my Instagram as well. So I guess it's understandable. But um, an exciting thing with my Etsy shop is I've got these stickers now. Um, so I'm going to start putting free stickers in with every order in the hope that people will stick it somewhere nice like maybe on the front of their sketchbook or something because that's where I stick my stickers and it'll be like they'll they'll look at it and they'll think of me as kind of like advertising. <laughs> I don't know, that's that's what I'm hoping will happen. Either that or people will just throw them in the bin. But I, I have I have hope that people will keep them somewhere nice. Um, I also put a little sticker on the front of each envelope as well. I have some old stickers that I'm trying to get through as well, like the ones that I just made myself. Because these new ones um, I got made professionally. But this one here is just one that I would make myself, just on my printer. Um, so yeah, the new ones are definitely much better quality and I'm really happy with them actually. That's a little bit about me packing orders. Back to the art. So it's now Thursday morning and I did these last night. I didn't film it though, but if I filmed everything I did this video would be like an hour long. But I started uh, with the orangutans because I thought they would be the most simplest one to paint and these five took me around three hours, uh, which was quite a long time considering these were the ones which I thought would be quickest to paint. I mean they do take quite a bit of work because they have to do like the different shades of orange and you have to be quite careful when painting around the face. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. also gave them a quick varnish so they're nice and shiny. I think I might do another coat though just so they're, they're super shiny. I will clean up the backs when I uh, stick the magnet on, which I know you don't really have to do because no one's ever gonna see the back, but just because you know I am selling these and sending them to people, I want them to just be as clean as possible. But yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. So for the rest of the day now, I'm just gonna paint magnets until they're done. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do all day. And moving on to the final step of these magnets, uh, just painting them. It is the, the biggest and the longest step, but at least it's the final step. Uh, this week has just been a whirlwind of busyness with these magnets, that tiger illustration, online lessons, uni work, editing this video. It's been a lot for little old Emily, so I think maybe next week I might have a break from making videos, I'll see how I feel. Yeah, I think the video I'll make next week, if I do make a video at all, will probably just be a, a more chill draw with me or something, because I need to have a little break. Uh, but I did get a lot accomplished, I got these magnets done, I am hoping to have them up on Etsy this weekend, I'm hoping they'll be up at the same time as this video, so I will link my Etsy in the description if you're interested in buying any of these magnets, hopefully they're listed up and ready to go, they should be because I'm going to do it right after I've edited this video, obviously this took me a long time, this took me an entire day of basically non-stop working, I had a break for tea, break for dinner, but basically painting all day. The apples take quite a long time to do, well, all of them take a long time to do. The orangutans are the quickest, the stars should be quick but because there's so many of them it takes a long time. The apples have a lot of detail because I've got to add the gradient on the apple, the gradient around the outside and the smile and the face um, and all the squares but probably the ones which took the longest were the tiger ones which I actually didn't film myself painting because they just have a lot of detail on them. I'm not really sure how much to price these at because they take a really long time to do from moulding the shapes, painting them, varnishing them, gluing the magnets on, um, but at the same time it is just a magnet. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling with what to price them at because I want to get monies back for the amount of time I've put into them. Each magnet probably takes around two hours and if I want to charge myself minimum wage, which is around £8, I'd have to be charging £16 per magnet, which just seems like quite a lot, but at the same time a lot of effort went into them. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to price them at yet. Hopefully I will figure that out pretty soon because I need to get them up. And I really don't know if these magnets are even going to be popular. I mean I did that Instagram poll but a lot of the time people say yes but you know what, actually buy it. Um, so I could be making all these and not even sell a single one. I really don't know. I'm hoping I sell a few, but I don't know what if they're just not popular. I'm a little bit scared <laughs> in case no one actually wants them and I put all this effort in for no reason. Because I'm also worried if I charge too much, people just aren't gonna buy them. I guess I need to make sure to not undersell myself because I did that when I did my pet portraits. And um, you don't know, I did commission pet portraits and I charged way too little for them. And I kind of undersold myself a lot for the work I was putting in and I don't want to do that again because it kind of sucked. <laughs> I was doing, I was spending like eight hours on a piece which I was getting like 25 pounds for, which is 
really not enough um, so I've learnt my lesson with that and I just don't want to do it again I'm really new to this sort of stuff so it's it's a tricky one <laughs> that's the video I hope you enjoyed it yeah I might see you next week I might not we'll see how I feel but I'll always keep my Instagram updated with what I'm up to but yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and what I've been up to this week and I will see you soon